House will come to order. Prayer by the chaplain. Good morning. I appreciate this opportunity to do again publicly what I do privately many times, and that's to lift you all up in prayer with the work and the efforts that you put in uh, for all of us. My sermon last Sunday was on prayer and the importance of it, in uh, not just for answers, but in drawing nearer to the Father and growing in a relationship with him. Um, and I don't do it enough, but I love to pray, and I hope that you do too. So let's pray for the strength and grace to continue on with what we have before us. Have you not known, have you not heard, the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak, and to those who have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, the young men shall utterly fall, but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Lord, I ask that you would give strength to those who are weak, that you would give rest to those who are weary, that you would give wisdom to those faced with difficult decisions. I pray for endurance for each one and the perseverance to continue on with the work and the decisions that are set before each one. And Lord, I ask that you would uh, bless each member and representative here, and bless their families at home, the, their spouses and children and family members who sacrifice themselves for the work that goes on here. And I pray that you would bless each one Fill with your grace, for thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Members, our guest chaplain for today is Andrew Matthews from Grace Fellowship Church in Malacca, and also one of our very own house pages. If members, please remain standing and recite the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. The clerk will take the roll. The clerk will close the roll. A quorum is present. The clerk will read the journal for the preceding day. Journal of the House, 87th Session, 2012, 113th day, St. Paul, Minnesota, Monday, April 30th, 2012. If there is no objection, further reading of the journal will be dispensed with, and the journal will stand as corrected by the Chief Clerk. Seeing no objection, the journal stands as corrected by the Chief Clerk. Call the member from Hennepin, Representative Benson. Uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, speaker. Uh, fellow members, uh, today at 11 o'clock at the Carpenters Hall at 710 Olive Street, there is a memorial for a longtime personal friend of mine and for many of you here today. Uh, a uh, activist in our caucus, uh, Jackie Stevenson. And uh, I just wanted to alert everyone to that and hope you can make it. 
and the speaker has been generous to allow us an opportunity to do that, which I greatly appreciate. Um, so it's at 11 o'clock, the uh, Carpenters Hall on Oliver Street, just a little ways from here. And just on a personal note, uh, Jackie was not a wealthy person, nor is her family, but she was very wealthy in friendship and good works. And so the family is asking that any memorials uh, be sent to them rather than flowers or other remembrances. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The member from Dakota, Sam Holberg. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Members, pursuant to Rule 1.22, it's my intention to place Senate File Number 1983 on the fiscal calendar for today, May 1st, 2012. It's the Mackelfactrick Bill uh, related to the Construction Code Fund. The member from Cottonwood, Representative Hamilton. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'll move a recess until the call of the chair until approximately 12.30. And, Mr. Speaker, the Republican caucus will meet immediately in room 217. Thank you. The member from Hennepin, the minority leader, Representative Thiessen. Thank you. And I just wanted to uh, express my thanks to the speaker and the majority leader for allowing uh, us to break here to get over to the memorial as well. Hearing no objections, all those in favor of the Hamilton motion recess to the call of the chair at approximately 12.30 p.m. Signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed nay. The motion prevails. We stand in recess till approximately 12.30 p.m.